Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today, real quick, we're just going to talk about the QuickBooks Point of Sale Inventory Scanner for counting your inventory and how you can take it out of the box and get it ready to use with your QuickBooks Point of Sale. Before we do that, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below and you can check out our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions about errors, request videos, or whatever else you are curious about with QuickBooks Point of Sale. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe today. Alright, so here we have the two main pieces that you are going to receive out of the box. You got your cradle and you got your inventory scanner. This is a unit that's made by Cypher Lab, as you can see. And if you just take a look at it here, it is fairly simple. It has a screen, a keypad, a few big buttons, and you got your battery compartment back here. And then of course in the same box, you also have this handy dandy little cradle where the scanner is actually going to sit. I have some people ask me or call me up and they're like, the cradle is not working because there's a light on the front here, but it is not turning on. Uh, this is a USB cradle. Of course, you are going to plug the USB cord into the computer. And to tell you the truth, this light actually never comes on. Uh, this is a little bit of leftover technology from back when these cradles used to be serial cradles. And there used to be an indicator here of activity and so I don't know they didn't make a new mold when they created the USB cradle they just kept it the same there's a light in there and it actually never does anything at all just for your information so you're gonna take all of this stuff out of the box like I mentioned you are going to put the USB uh, in your computer as for the scanner right here you are going to push down this button and pull it apart and you can see this is going to take AAA batteries very easy it's like your you know regular TV remote or something like that just go ahead and put the batteries in there put the cover back on and slide it up and now we should be set to go with the batteries I will tell you that once you plug the cradle in to the computer with the USB uh, if for some reason the computer or the point of sale does not recognize it this is not the most straightforward piece of machinery to install on your computer. It's not like most things plug and play out of the box. If you require assistance in getting this going, go ahead and give me a call. My number is down below. Uh, BlackRock Business would be more than happy to help you out with your scanner and get it up and running. So since I have the batteries in here now, I'm gonna hit the power button and we can see it said welcome and I'm just gonna Actually, I'm going to take this off. We got the plastic on here. Might be a little easier to see now. Now we can see that we are on the main menu, which is collect, upload, and utilities. If your scanner says anything besides these three options right when you turn it on, then you will want to call whoever you ordered it from. It may not be programmed correctly. So there you have it. That's pretty much the getting started on your QuickBooks point of sale inventory scanner. Getting it out of the box, throw the batteries in it, and you got your cradle here, all set to go. Um, yeah, just like that. There you go. My name's Peter with Black Rock Business. If you have any other questions about the scanner, maybe uh, how to use it or how to get one, I believe you'll see a link down below for purchasing one, but you can certainly talk to us about it as well if you have any questions on how it works. You have yourself a great day now. Bye-bye. Never to far and never to touch. We